If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Sales Invoicing window lets you create customer invoices for items shipped or services provided. Remember that invoices do impact the amount in accounts receivable. To open the Sales Invoicing window in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Sales Invoicing from the menu bar. To create a new invoice, click the New button in this Windows toolbar if needed. Then select the customer for whom to create the invoice from the Customer ID dropdown. Enter the invoice's creation date into the Invoice Date field and its due date into the Due Date field. If printing the invoice, leave the Invoice Number field blank. The invoice number is then assigned when printed. If not printing it, enter the invoice number into the Invoice Number field. You can also view or edit the Customer PO, Ship Via, Ship Date, sales rep, and the terms. The invoice looks like the other sales forms, but there are two tabs here which do not appear in any other window. The Apply to Sales Order Number or Proposal tab and the Apply to Sales tab. The Apply to Sales tab lets you enter items and services sold to customers without using the Sales Order or Proposal windows. The Apply to Sales tab lets you enter the items you are selling, their quantities and amounts. Alternatively, the Apply to Sales Order or Proposal tab lets you invoice for and or ship selected items from a sales order or proposal to the customer. This tab comes forward over the Apply to Sales tab if the selected customer has an outstanding sales order or an accepted proposal. Remember, you must have accepted a customer's proposal and then saved it before it can appear on this tab. Use the drop-down on this tab to select from which sales order or proposal to ship items. This drop-down menu defaults to showing sales order numbers. To show proposal numbers in the drop-down instead, select the View Proposals Choice in the drop-down. If needed, to then switch back to showing sales orders again, select the View Sales Orders Choice from the drop-down. This choice also changes the name of the tab. After selecting to show either proposals or sales orders in this dropdown, then use the dropdown to select the specific sales order or proposal for which to invoice to then show its items in the line items area of this tab. If you selected a sales order, you must enter the number of each of the listed items you are invoicing and shipping. If you instead selected an accepted proposal, then the Select Percentage to Bill dialog box appears. Here you can choose either what percentage of the proposal to invoice or for which items in the proposal to invoice. This is used for partial or progress billing for projects. To invoice for the remaining amount in the proposal, select the first option in this dialog box. Alternatively, to invoice for a selected percentage of all the items in the proposal, select the second option button and then enter the percentage to invoice into the adjacent percent to bill field. Alternatively, to manually specify the quantities and or amounts to invoice for each line item in the line items area of this tab, select the third option button. After selecting your choice, then click the OK button to continue. If you selected the third option button, then enter the quantity or bill percent to invoice for each line item on this tab. On either tab, 
You can enter the serial number of items you are selling if selling either serialized stock or serialized assembly items. To do this, select the line for the first serialized item in the line items area of the form. Ensure all the serialized items have the correct quantities to sell listed in the Quantity column. Then click the Serial Number button in the toolbar at the top of the window to open the Serial Number Selection dialog box. Then click the serial numbers of the items to sell. You can use the Find feature at the top of the dialog box if needed. After selecting the correct quantity of serial numbers, double check the quantity selected at the bottom of the dialog box. Then click the OK button to return to the sales invoicing form, or click the OK slash Next button to save the selected serial numbers and move to the next serialized item to sell within the form. Doing this prevents you from having to close and reopen this window multiple times if selling several serialized items in a single invoice. At the bottom of the window, check the tax code of the customer to ensure it is correct and change it if it isn't. You can then enter any freight amount if needed. Remember the amounts you input into this box are associated with the expense account you set for freight in the item defaults window. You can also use freight as an individual line item in the line items area of the invoice if having only one freight account is inadequate for your business needs. The customer account information in the lower left corner shows their receivable balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. Clicking the balance shows a report on the customer. To save the invoice when finished, Click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of the Sales slash Invoicing window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.